Where's your hiding place? I need to find out. What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is our final stop at the Raccoon Police Department. And we really don't have much that we need. We found this film down below, and that's it. I heard something. You know, once we're this far into the game, I'm not letting or leaving anything to chance. Chances are there's a liquor around here, so just best not to run. Unless we're in a safe space, and then we're good. All right. Let's take a look. There are your two hiding spots. They are no different from the A scenario. You still have to develop the film in order for these to become active. So let's go get our free stuff. Oh, uh, we're going to have to walk the entire time, aren't we? Well, maybe not the entire time. We can speed it up on the stairs, thankfully. I would love to bust out the flamethrower and try and take out a liquor, but... You know, seeing a liquor burnt to a crisp, it's still able to slice my neck open. That's more intimidating than the liquors themselves. So I think I'll just leave them to their own devices. They're fine. You're fine. I'm just coming over here to the police department... ...to see what my boss is hiding. Well, technically, he's not my boss. I can go rummaging through his stuff all I want. Oh, I see it. It's still there. Captain Wesker, you dog. You know, now that I realize it, I know we're not in the same division, but seeing Rising Rookie, just imagine if you developed that film and it was Leon's picture at a basketball court. <laughs> Equal opportunity, Wesker. We'd love to see it. We got a scope for our Magnum inside that box. That would be ever so lovely to attach to our big shooty bang bang. I am very surprised that liquor didn't hear me. It may have gone to another room, so we're fine. Gonna make a quick man dash down to the press room. And then believe it or not, we're out of here. Oh, hello Marvin. I forgot we never killed you. Well, it's okay. In this universe, I never knew who you were, so... You're just some zombie! It was a slip of the tongue. It's like, oh yeah, Lieutenant Brenna, I totally know you! And then you see static on screen. <laughs> I remember something that I shouldn't know. Leon becomes a universe jumper. He becomes in tune with the morphogenetic field. And then in order to save Claire, he needs to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Well, that guy's still having a time. I think I'll leave him be. He's just mugging for the camera. I never got these? Oops. <laughs> I could have sworn I got everything. Well, a lot of stuff I left off to the side just because, you know, this place is dangerous. You get fuel for your flamethrower here in the other hidden place. If you didn't have the achievement already, Rummaging through Captain Wesker's office and here in the press room, you'll get an achievement for finding both hiding spots. In Claire's scenario, it was spark shot ammo, so you get ammunition for your really special gun. And that's it. It's time to say goodbye to RPD. We've done all we can here. Mm, this might be an issue, however. Oh. Uh, how far can you guys come in here? All the way, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah. Well, all right, this will at least get you out of the place where I need to be. You know what? Let's, let's just let's just do one of these. Let's just do one of these. I'll have him come in here just to say hi, and then run past him. Wait. Really? They're not programmed to come in here? That's a thing? Oh, that's awesome. That's a revelation for the century. Yeah, I think those zombies are just programmed to be, like, in this room and only this room. That's so interesting. Yeah. 
I just happened to forget something. I almost left without uh, developing the film. Gotta do that first. Unfortunately, there is no dark room down in the underground. Maybe there's one in that super secret lab I keep hearing about. Hmm. Better not chance it. Might as well do it here. Oh, yep, I hear them. They are here, they just didn't come after me when I ran that other time. Weird. I guess that was a couple floors up. There we go! Nice! Hell yeah! I'm gonna get her digits. Man, I hope she survived this. I hope she knows how to play piano. Very badly. Man, she looks like the type that would help a convict through a zombie apocalypse. I miss Rebecca. <laughs> I know she was in the latest CG movie, but yeah, that's not good enough. Get her back in the game. What if they remade Resident Evil Zero? Stop. Just stop. Hello, beautiful. Now we have a bit more accurate big shooty bang bang. There we go. Now we're officially done. Sorry for scaring people into thinking I wasn't going to develop film of the pretty lady. Now we can get out of here. And I also brought the stars badge with me so we can get those extra gun parts down here in the basement. See, it all comes together in one nicely wrapped package. Oh, I love it. I loved it when all the previous Resident Evils did it, and I love it when the new ones follow suit. In fact, when I saw the exact same thing happening to Biohazard and Village, I was just like, oh, hell yes! My OCD, it's being cured! It, not really, it's unfortunate. There we go. Inside, we will get something new for our Magnum. See, the Lightning Hawk is getting all the cosmetics. Oh, that is a big fuck-off gun. I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and ditch the badge that we just took out of there. <sighs> yes. Hello. You know, somebody actually brought to my attention where, uh... They, they thought it was funny that the Magnum being the most powerful gun in Resident Evil games was kind of silly. And to that I say... Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's kind of silly, but then again... Being able to one-shot a monster that can probably one-shot you is so much more satisfying because it's limited, you're able to kill the thing, and you don't have to, like, scramble around and be like, oh my god, where, how am I going to kill this thing? Oh, yep, he's coming through. And I know there are, like, rocket launchers, infinite submachine guns, a hot knife called the Hot Dogger that exists in all of these uh, cannons of Resident Evil, but... Just let people have their fun. A Magnum's a Magnum, and a Magnum is huge gun, fight, shooty, destroy, kill. I love how my descriptions keep devolving. <laughs> Eventually, my, my descriptions of a weapon are going to be shoot gun! As if they haven't devolved already. Alright, we got one more stop. We need to get that locker. And then into the control room, and we can go get Ada. Sounds good to me. We've made a lot of good progress here. And that zombie is actually on the same plane as me. He's been booking it, man. Yeah, don't worry, post me. You were going in the right direction. You know, when I'm testing out a game for a potential Let's Play, I am the most obnoxious player imaginable. Especially when it comes to Resident Evil games, and they have the map saying that you collected everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Literally over you. But uh, I remember back when I was planning uh, the LP of Biohazard, every single time I went in a room and collected one item, I would check the map. I am obnoxious when testing for Let's Plays. That's why... I play it so many times, so I memorize in my head, okay, I need to get this, 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 and this. Okay, we're done. That's also why I started editing out my checks of the map. Just because they were so annoying. I was annoying myself! Alright, we got S, Z, and F. Unlock that, and this is where you would get the achievement for unlocking every locker. Even more magnum ammo, which makes me a very happy Niskel. And now, puzzle time! 
it did change from the A scenario, and you know what? I like this version better. It's a lot more complicated, it's a lot more use your brain to figure it out. And uh, this was the last T-bar that I had to use, and honestly, I'm just going to skip it because there's no reason for me to make that shortcut. I've already done all I need to do. I'm just going to put it in the box. No harm, no foul. And I know I'm going to get at least one person, you know who you are, that's going to say, please do everything. To which I say, I basically did. Shut up. And now I can't wait to see how many of my smart-ass commenters, you also know who you are, are going to tell me, you didn't do everything, please do more, Mr. Funny Man. If anybody says that in those exact words, you're my friend. The same people who understood the 999 reference earlier in the episode, you're also my friend. So, for this puzzle, everything has kind of been mixed up. And again, this is a knowledge puzzle. You need to put together what they are telling you in this hint right here. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight right at the end, and the knight ain't where the case marking says. So the knight does not go in its own box. And the rook is next to the knight, but not facing the queen. So now you need to put that together. Be sure to check it as many times as you need to, like I am here. The king isn't next to the queen, but it is facing the knight at the end. So if I got this right, the pawn actually does go in the pawn box. So there's one of six done. The knight will not go in the knight box, but instead... I'm trying to think of what goes here. This is the queen. It's across from the pawn. I at least know that. Uh, we got the... That doesn't seem right. No, that's not right. That's not right. Uh, it's the bishop? Yes, it is the bishop. And then, in the knight box, goes the king. So now, the king is across from the knight. And the rook is next to the knight. Easy. See, I like puzzles like that. When they present you with pretty solid clues. Okay. Almost there, Ada. And then you just go, oh, I, I got it! Yeah! Just like in Claire A, the only reason this place is lit up as red is because it wants you to take every plug out of the wall to have it count as all items collected. It's ridiculous. Okay. You're gonna want everything. But... <sighs> Just come prepared. It's going to be a rough fight. In fact, I'm going to make it out to be just a little more difficult than it actually is. You don't have to bring this much stuff. I'm mainly just wanting to get it over with quickly. You'll see. We've got enough healing. We're all locked and loaded and ready to go be a man. Yeah, we're going to save that woman we just met and trust with our lives. Enough to where we jump in front of bullets for her. You know, I can actually see Leon doing that. He's a nice guy. And, you know, this is what he trained for. He wanted to be a police officer. Damn it. Need the power on first. Oh, that's what it's missed. I, I feel like such a maroon. So, of all the puzzles to change between the A and B scenario. I believe this is one of them that changes. The thing is, I barely noticed because the puzzle's so freaking easy. Yay. All right, now let's see if I can do that trick I wanted to do last time and kind of goofed it. Hey, it worked! So if you follow that yellow line there, you can actually avoid the claw coming through the ceiling? It's actually kind of cool. Now, is this the secret spot? Nope, that is not the secret spot. All right, I'm gonna have to do some research on where the secret spot is. I think it's actually next to the door, like right next to the door, right there next to the kitty litter. I think that's the, like the God spot where you'll never get hit by Birkin. I mean, I could always run around like a goofball and try to avoid it there, but I think he can still hit me. Yep, he can still hit me. All right, never mind then. If you want, you can retaliate and shoot Birkin to make this thing go a lot faster, but save your ammo. Because here he comes! Woohoo! All right, 
that later, loser! It's still alive? Hell yes, it is. But uh, let's try to make it not alive anymore. But uh, be careful, he is running full sprint trying to kill you. So uh, just be ready. It's time for the G2 fight. Let's do it. Woo! He almost got me there. All right, take two for the crane. Second time, let's see how Leon fares with this big monstrosity of a fight. So, a couple things I have learned since we did the first fight with Claire. You can do this fight with the crane only. The crane does an ungodly amount of damage to Birkin, so much so that if you wanted to do this in a pacifist run, you can actually hit him with the crane twice to three times. I've seen a few clips that make it inconsistent. But twice to three times, hitting him with the crane, and the fight actually ends. In fact, this fight is programmed to where you have to kill him with the crane. You cannot kill him with bullets alone. Consider his life points are infinite, and the crane is the actual trigger for him losing the fight. So, unfortunately, you do have to go through the animation. You do have to wait for the crane. You have to time it perfectly. Another thing I... Well, oh, my God. Another thing I'll mention about this fight that I didn't know beforehand is if you want to know how much damage is left on Birkin, check the color of the eye. When his big eye turn ow, when his big eye turns bloodshot, that is actually your notice that he has taken enough damage to be one-shotted by the crane. Another rule of thumb that a lot of people go with is when Leon says, "I think it's time. I think the crane is good to go." That's a good indicator that you're close to enough damage to one-shot him with the crane. So, not dealing in absolutes here, we're dealing with a lot of guesswork. I would say after you've downed him twice, he's ready. I'm gonna get hurt. I didn't get hurt. I can't believe it. I almost got hurt. Alright, so honestly, the Magnum is just extra insurance just to make sure he goes down on one knee. Now, hopefully, hopefully he stays down enough to where this will work. Just stay there, just stay there, just stay there, just stay there. Don't you dare. No! You son of a bitch! Oh, that's so unfortunate. He moved right at the last second. Like he knew. Oh, man. All right, well, we're going to have to go one more round. That's extremely unfortunate because this is such a tight space when this crane is just sitting here. All right, one more time. Once more with feeling, I guess. And you know, now that I'm looking back at this footage, I'm realizing so many mistakes that are happening during this playthrough. I guess it's because I go into panic mode when I fight bosses like this, especially when they have big telegraphed attacks. Like that right there, I could have stayed in the corner and he wouldn't have hit me. Another thing is when he does the lunge attack, when he's jumping straight towards you, just go off onto the right a bit, and he won't actually hurt you. Let's do this. All right, now for the moment of truth. This should be enough because his eye's looking a little red. I'm just going to stay here just to make sure that he doesn't move, and... Let's hope that's the last of them. Not my best performance in that fight. A lot of mistakes happened there, but now I know what to look for when I show you guys hardcore mode. Yay! And in fact, the rate my hardcore run is going, I might have to deal crane only damage. All right, Ada. Let's get you back up. Ada! Ada, where are you? Over here! Ada! I was getting worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should, uh... Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. <clears throat> Hold on. 
I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. That scene is so good between Leon and Ada. For one, Leon is still just a good guy. He just wants to help, and any way that he can help the entire Raccoon City, the, any way that he can help the bigger cause, he's in for it. And the only way for him to actually help the entirety of Raccoon City is by helping this woman he saw. Not only that, but... I honestly think, and this is not a put down to Leon, not at all, but this is the first other human he has seen for a while, at least one that survived this long. So being able to make sure that they survive, just add it to his list of mission objectives. Help Raccoon City, help anyone in need. That's what he's here for. Seriously, the way they portray Leon in Resident Evil 2 Remake is so different from the original, but also keeps a lot of his core ideals in mind. He's a good boy. <laughs> he just wants to help. Again, none of this is made to be a put-down. He's just a genuine person. And I'm glad he becomes a snarky jerk-off in later games. It just fits. We made it. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared, Leon. Hint, hint, point of no return. Just in case, let's take a look at the map over here. I've already explained this part, and I don't think there's anything else that I missed. Nothing there, nothing there. Th what? Huh. I'll have to look into that. I didn't think I missed anything. It must have been in the shadows and I just didn't see it, but it's probably not that important. And I'm not going to run all the way back there just to pick it up. <laughs> it's way too far away. But everything should look blue. Yeah, we're rocking it. We're ready to go. Let's head to Nest, Ada. Let's finish our mission. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey. Leon, trust me? You trust me? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. I, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Ada, you said it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. 
I'm not just gonna leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for, trust me. Now, arriving at Nest. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Leon. Counting on you. 